Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Ranking and so we're feeling today. If you're feeling good, please do let me know down in the comments below. Drop a like on this video, share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to punch that subscribe button as it will help your little dragon out so very much. Just got back from a wedding, man. We just went to a wedding as you just saw like a second ago. I went to a wedding. Now it's like the after party right now. Everyone got changed. Everyone went back to enjoy the after party with alcohol and all sorts of stuff. Me, my party, my after party is here with you guys, man. I'd rather spend this time the rest of my night. I haven't even slept properly, man. Oh my God. But I'd rather spend this time here with you, you know, make some more videos. Because after this, I don't know when I'm going to be filming next because I'm going to be quite busy. So just going to use this time. That's the thing, man. You just got to keep hustling. You know, party if it's not for you. Goals or party. My goals and what I'm going for, that's what's more important for me. So that's why I am here making this video for you, my little dragons. And look, I'm wearing my, my Amazon t-shirt. So, hey, we're all in it, man. This has got nothing to do with this video. But I don't know what I'm trying to say. just where I work. You know what I'm really doing. Well, anyways, we're going to step away from that. Today, there's so many things about this guy, man. So many things about Adolf Hitler. Uh, first of all, you know, so many different faiths, so many different like religions and sort of, like that sort of thing. They they talk about him and they say that he's like the son of the devil. You know, like they they put it in. They they think they think that there's a reason that he was put on this planet or something. Like it's it's to in order to like he's like. You know, they like the devil, that's what they, they describe him as. He's like one of the worst people in history. He's probably not the worst, but I think like he's one of the worst. It's not something I'm saying, this is something they're saying. And of course, I don't think anybody supports him. Like even like, there's nobody, there's nobody that supports him. Even down in the comments below, everyone's like using different names to describe him and stuff. So you can see that what impact he has created in this world. But he's obviously definitely undoubtedly one of the most like important and recognized people in history man in my opinion what do i think about him to me a normal person like me and you doing something wrong you know i think hell is the punishment for that if we do something wrong intentionally to hurt people to harm people or to kill people hell taught these are the things that should be the punishment for that but if you are in power and you're able to, you have the power to control people and manipulate people and you can use that power to do anything and you use it in like the sole purpose of you being in power is to destroy and hurt people. I don't know. It should be even more than hell, man. That's why I believe. It should be even worse than hell. They deserve a lot worse. But yeah, but it's always interesting to see like where this came from. So right now we're going to see the origins. Also, there's a movie about Hitler. Um, it's called Rise to Evil. We've seen it in school a long time ago. Can't remember, man. I can't remember. So yeah, you know, if you guys go, you can go check that. I might, you know, I don't know. I'll probably check it out as well. But um, yeah, we're going to go into this. So I can see a baby photo of him now. So it's going to start from his baby ages. And I'm guessing, you know. As is how he grows and how he changes, how this hate will came. That's where it's gonna go. Also, you know, all this hell and stuff, don't don't take my word for it, of course. I'm just a kid, I don't know that much. See it for yourself and judge for yourself. Never listen to other people's opinions. Just see the facts for yourself and just judge it for yourself. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna give you my ideas, you can take it with a pinch of salt. And that's probably the ideal way, that's the way I take things anyway. But hey, without further ado, we're going to hop right into this my little dragon. Let's go. Look at this baby. So gentle. So innocent. You'd think this child would grow up to become a good man. An honest man. Well, think again. Hitler was born Adolphus yeah. Hitler in 1889 in a small town in Austria-Hungary. His yeah. father, Alois Schickelgruber, was born out of wedlock, but eventually changed his name to that of his stepfather, becoming Alois Hitler. Alois was a mid-level Austrian customs officer, not really rolling in cash, but certainly rolling in women. He married a rich, older lady, but then immediately started having affairs, including one with a much younger house servant. 
A few years later, he left his sick wife to be with his mistress. But since the Catholic Church didn't allow divorce at the time, he couldn't marry her. So he waited for his old wife to die and had a child in the meantime. Then his wife died, so he married his mistress and had another child. But then his new wife got sick, so he employed his much, much younger cousin Clara to take care of her. Then when his new wife died, he immediately got Clara, his cousin, pregnant, and then married her. In that order, you rock star. Clara and Alois had three children together, who all tragically died while in hold infancy. Up, hold up, hold up. So when the fourth child... I'm confused now, which is where, which is who? That guy's crazy. Alright, also, before um, we carry on with the video, this is oversimplified, but this is like a re-upload on a different channel, because it's actually blocked in my country. I'm from the UK, it's blocked. So if they do take this video down, um, you know, I'm not going to argue against it. I'm already going against any terms and conditions. I think they should probably, you know, accept this video being up there if they've accepted um, that video. But if they do take it down or if they don't like me having this video up there, obviously the content, everything belongs to them. It doesn't actually belong to me. I'm just here to react and to review the video. So if anything does happen, it will suck. But, you know, we don't go against it. That's us. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't. Let's go. But yeah, this guy, man, how many kids, how many families? So he's had three wives now. Okay. Adolf came along, Clara spoiled him rotten. The Hitlers had two more kids and the family moved around a few times, meaning Adolf had to attend five different elementary schools. Adolf's father was strict, quick to anger, and took most of it out on the eldest son until he had enough and ran away at the age of 14, leaving seven-year-old Adolf to do most of the chores and get berated by his father. The result was a difficult relationship with his dad while he was yeah. super attached to his mother, who worried over him and his health excessively. Hitler did well in school at first. His grades song? were good and his teachers praised him. He was popular with the other kids and enjoyed gathering them together to play war games. He also loved reading and particularly liked stories about cowboys and Indians. As he grew older though, he started to get into trouble. He was caught smoking once, organized a raid on a local orchard, tormented his pro-Austria religion teacher with symbolic gestures, displaying his allegiance to the idea of united Germanic people under a greater German state in defiance of Habsburg Austria. You know, the usual. All of this enraged Adolf's father, who punished him severely. The area of Austria-Hungary that Hitler lived in was once part of the German Confederation, and many of the people who lived there considered themselves to be German. Adolf tended to just go against whatever his father said, and since his father was an Austrian public official, Hitler got big into German nationalism. This enraged Adolf's father, who punished him severely. Around this time, a family tragedy struck. His six-year-old brother, whom he loved a lot, died of measles when Adolf was ten, oh. and was buried in the cemetery just across from their home. Around oh, this time, nice. neighbors reported a change in the young boy. Strange yeah. behaviors such as talking to trees and staying up late staring at the stars from the cemetery oh, walls. He lost interest in religion and his school... As a, as a grown adult, you wouldn't be able to swallow that. Having a child in your house pass away. Imagine a kid. That's sad. Grades started That's to decline, really. which enraged his father, who punished him severely. It also didn't help that he had just entered high school, and the cool city boys treated him like a rural peasant. Yeah, he had to repeat well. a grade and had little interest in most school subjects, instead spending his time reading and drawing, which he was quite good at. One day his father said, Son, someday you'll be a big balls public official like me. And Adolf replied, No father, I'm going to become an artist and soar high above the clouds with the eagles. This enraged his father, but by this time he was an old ass man, so he just sort of let it go and then died of a lung hemorrhage. Hitler just about passed his final semester and celebrated in the typical way by getting blackout drunk and wiping his ass with the certificate. However, he didn't take the overall final school exam, instead just dropping out. The now 16-year-old boy was unemployed without much purpose in life and for the next three years, he stayed that way. He spent most of his time at the opera with his only friend, August Kubizek. Kubizek later wrote his memories of the young Hitler, and said he was passionately interested in many things, felt he was in many ways better than others his age, was quick to anger just like his father, and an incredible speaker once he was ranting. When he was 18, he said a very sad goodbye to his mother, and went to Vienna to take the entrance exam for art school. He failed. Soon after, he had to return home. His mother was sick, and her health was rapidly deteriorating. Hitler stayed by her side, and when she eventually died, the family doctor said he had never seen someone so overwhelmed with grief as Hitler was. Then Hitler returned to Vienna, still hoping to find a career in the arts, but he never did. Instead, without parental support, Hitler ended up on the streets. Now in his early 20s, he spent a few rough years living in and out of homeless shelters, making yeah. what little he could from selling postcards he painted. It's hard to pinpoint exactly when and how Hitler's extreme ideological beliefs formed, but his time in Vienna would have certainly played a role. 
Anti-Semitism was widespread in the city. The mayor, whom Hitler supported, was an outspoken anti-Semite. There were many right-wing anti-Semitic newsletters, which Hitler took a keen interest in. He bought into the conspiracy theories and became a firm believer in the idea that there are many races in constant struggle with one another, the purest of which were the German Aryan people, and the worst of which, he believed, were Jews. Since Austria-Hungary was a multi-ethnic empire full of lesser races, Hitler wasn't a fan. So when he was 24, he moved to Munich in Germany to avoid doing military service. And for one more year, he was a drifter on the streets until something huge happened. In 1914, long-standing tensions in Europe erupted into the First World War. Crowds across Europe celebrated the news. Within days, Hitler volunteered for the German army. The war gave him a purpose in life. His fellow soldiers gave him friendship and brotherhood. Despite the horrors of war, Hitler considered it to be the best time of his life. He was reportedly a brave soldier and was awarded the Iron Cross, first class. He was also very lucky and had many close encounters with death. His luck ran out in 1916, however, when an artillery shell injured his leg. He went back to Germany to recover and was outraged to find a general apathetic anti-war attitude among the exhausted and hungry German populace. With the war turning against Germany, he returned to the front lines, but was temporarily blinded by a British gas attack in 1918. A month later, still recovering in hospital, Hitler learned of Germany's defeat and surrender. The terms of the peace treaty were tough on Germany. It had to pay a lot of money and lose a lot of soldiers. These conditions weakened Germany and humiliated the German people. Europe's borders changed after the war too. New countries were formed out of Russia's lost territory, Austria-Hungary was dissolved, and there was one big new country splitting Germany into two. Hitler, seeing the country he loved humiliated like this, said that hatred grew in him for those responsible, by which he meant communists and Jews, who he believed had stabbed Germany in the back by spreading dissent and anti-war propaganda back home. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Oh my god, again, it's too early to judge, but... Mm, so basically, yeah, as I, as I expected, they went for how his uh, childhood was. How he was like really, you know, his, his father didn't treat him well, his father really like abused him when he was younger and he was abused in school and he kind of went through the bad way. This is the typical, like all the famous actors say this, all the famous, or the infamous people, or the famous people, all of their lives are similar, you know, they got bullied or their parents, their fathers didn't treat them right and they didn't have some great lives and then they ended up, they have two choices, one be a super villain or be, you know, something successful. Most most people's uh, lives do turn out like that. So yeah, that was um, yeah. I knew he was an artist. I knew that's what he wanted to major in. So yeah, I basically knew a lot of these things already. But um, I don't know. I thought okay. I, I didn't know he fought in. I thought he got rejected tonight. They, they said that he wasn't good. Okay, uh, I thought he got rejected because he's too short or something. But uh, okay, he fought in the army and uh, he fought for his country. Mm. So now, he said that Germany got humiliated, so that's probably now going to be his, um, you know, that's what he's going to, that's the thing that he's going to consume on first. So he's going to hold that as well as all his hatred, he's going to bring it together and, you know, speak and manipulate and fight and bring it rise again. And then World War II will happen, that's what I'm guessing, so. We've just crossed World War One, and then World War Two, and then he kills himself. Then we'll find out, man. We'll find out. But yes, this one is good. Um, hopefully, they let him post this. Hopefully, this doesn't get taken down because you wouldn't even need to even see this. But if it doesn't get taken down. If it gets posted. I'll be very happy. And yeah, so amazing, man. Yeah, let me know what you guys think, and um, let me know uh, what you guys think. In a nicer way, tell me what you guys think about uh, Hitler. Was there anything else, any other like stories about him or anything else you want to add to this? That's probably not even going to be in the second part. You know, let me know. Or if there's anything else you want me to react to, you know, uh, relate to history or not relate to history, also do let me know down in the comments below, man. This video doesn't get taken out. Also, um, Oversimplified is the channel that this is originally from, so please go check that channel out, go and subscribe and show your love to that channel. Uh, they deserve all the love, you know, they're so great channels, such a great channel. So loads of people, I see other like reaction, there's loads of other reaction channels that are, you know, for them. And they, yeah, so all of us, we're depending on them and for knowledge, for this, you know, so many things. 
So do go and show your support, man. And thank you for whoever suggested this to me. It's amazing. You know, thank you, man. You know, for showing me that love. You know, give me suggestions, and I'm here to do it for you and to bring you the entertainment that you guys deserve. Love you all. You're amazing. You're all awesome. My history playlist will also be in the description, so don't forget to go check that out. Don't forget to punch the subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like and share this with your friends and family, man. I love you all. You're all amazing. You're all awesome. Stay home, stay safe, stay blessed. Stay awesome, my little dragons, and I will definitely see you in the next video.